Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Long Haul Commercials here in Tullamore in County Offaly in Ireland. Yes, guys, finally I get to show you around a Hino truck. It's been a long time coming to the channel, but here we are. And I have this fantastic example from Long Haul Commercials. It's a 1977 Hino HE. So I'm really looking forward to showing you all around the exterior of the truck. Then we'll hop inside and go down through all the interior features and then we'll be taking it out on the road for a test drive. Yes, guys, it's been a long time coming. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the Hino. Starting off with the exterior first then of the Hino HE. Now, a lot of people would pronounce it Hino in Ireland, but the correct pronunciation is Hino. And this one here looking fantastic from Connor Jennings. So yeah, it says Pat Jennings on the truck. Uh, that would have been Connor's father. So yeah, um, he has this truck looking immaculate. Um, we have the CB headlights there at the front. We've got the old Offaly registration in Ireland. And you remember those wheel trims back in the day as well. Uh, they were a bit of a trend on the old Hino trucks. But yeah, 1977. I mean, when you walk around this truck, guys, you'll just see for yourself how much more simpler trucks were back in this day. So uh, yeah, quite nice to see it now. And we have the ladder there going up onto the roof. So you would store more equipment up there. We have the air horns, but unfortunately the switch uh, is not working. So we won't be listening to them. And we'll be having a look at this so this little Iveco truck here, right, that's also from 1977 and it's got a V8 engine. We'll be having a look at that shortly before we go out on our test drive of the old HE. So both of these trucks from 1977 and you'll have a look at the battery box here, the way it's all open. This was as it was when it was new, guys. So yeah, that's how it looked. And your fifth wheel. So we won't be hooking up under any trailer uh, we don't want to mark all this because this is uh, in exceptional condition here. And you can have a look straight into the engine there <laughs> without even having to jack the cab. Uh, just wide open there. And even in here as well, look, your steering bar and your uh, steering box there. You can just about see it. Uh, I'd say if we move over here, you'll see, yeah, you'll see it better there. Look, uh, quite small, isn't it? A steering box on a truck and of course all springs all around you just got your uh, your leaf springs there on the suspension and also on the back so oh yeah let me just <laughs> tell you something about these old um, suspensions as well right um, some drivers would actually get a, a piece of teak wood and put it in between the top of the leaf spring here right so that when you were heavy loaded uh, some of them would be overloaded, of course. Um, it would rest on the teak timber. So, and it would wedge itself in there. <laughs> so, drivers used to do it just to carry extra weight many, many years ago. And then, of course, you would have to remember to take the piece of wood out when you were offloaded. But, uh, well, this was truck driving uh, many, many years ago. So, just continuing to walk around and just show you what it's all about. So 300 litres of diesel. And these are the old side markers of the older trucks. So you don't see these on trucks anymore. It's all more modern side markers. Um, but that's how they looked back in those times. And you see the old spring as well for holding up the Susies. Uh, that spring is on this truck since new. So uh, that's very good. And these two levers at the back of the cab, so you would pull them on both sides and, you, and the cab would spring up a bit and then you'd be able to push it up the rest of the way. You'd probably need two people to do it just to tilt the cab. But these Susies, I mean, from 1977, the design of them hasn't changed at all, guys. I mean, uh, <laughs> on the new truck I'm driving, look, they're the very same Susies. And we also had uh, one for the trailer brake, so... Um, yeah, you don't have trailer brakes on tr uh, new trucks anymore. Uh, they are long gone. Uh, and of course you do have the taps on the, t on the Susies as well. Uh, they don't have taps on Susies anymore. Um, you see it there, the, uh, the tap for turning on. 
your Susie's. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it looks on the exterior. Let me just walk around and give you a look at the front again. Um, yeah, just, I mean, having a truck like this in any collection is just fantastic. Um, and you'll see the old mirror arms as well. Now this wide angle mirror, so you can see a bit of the front here and also all around on your left side. So that's how it looks, 1977, the Hino. Okay, so I'm just gonna hop into it shortly, but we just wanna have a look around this V8. So the 190 NT33. So you could get a, a 35 in Ireland uh, back in the 70s, but this is a 190 33. So also belonged to Connor Jennings and he may be doing it up at some point, uh, restoring it. Uh, it's a left-hand drive. And you see the, uh, the fifth wheel there as well. Uh, let me just show you something on that fifth wheel. Uh, oh, it had two exhaust boxes as well, all right? Uh, just look, two of them, but one exhaust pipe. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a bit unusual. But if I just show you something on the fifth wheel, right? It's a big D by York. But if I zoom in here, look, you see there, patent pending back in 1977 on this fifth wheel, the big D from York. Yeah, from the UK. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna open up the, uh, the passenger side door and we'll just have a look inside the interior of this truck. So yeah, Connor Jennings' father, Pat Jennings, used to drive one of these trucks back in the day. So uh, I'll just flash up a photo there and you can see Jennings' truck. So Connor hopes to restore this truck pretty much back to how his father's truck looked um, back many, many years ago. So yeah, when that truck is finished, that should be quite a, quite a restoration job. So, uh, yeah, and we have the old Fuller gearbox as well, 13 speed. Yeah, so quite a lot of work. Uh, the restoration work on these trucks just takes years, guys, trying to find parts. But yeah, so this truck would have been before the Turbo Star. But I mean, 350 horsepower, this is the 33. But uh, the 35s would have been quite powerful uh, V8 back in the 70s. But that one there is in, it's in pretty good condition for 1977. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, and these old wheels, let me show you these as well uh, on the back axle. Um, some of the drivers, okay, depending on how much power you had in your truck, of course, um, they would, so like it's like a two piece rim. So this piece is separate to this whole piece here. And some drivers would spin, okay? And this inner piece would spin within this piece and you would break off your air valve and your tires would just go bang <laughs> and you'd be left stranded on the side of the road. So yeah, that would have happened a fair amount of drivers back in those days. Yeah, your inner part of the rim just spinning uh, within the outer part. Uh, quite funny, I'm sure if it happened to you. But um, yeah, not too funny when you're stranded at the side of the road. But anyway, let's just hop inside uh, the Hino here. And uh, okay, so I'll go left foot first, I think. Uh, we'll give it a go and climb in. And uh, okay, there we are. And you see the old quilted leather on the interior. So they've done a great job restoring this truck. The back wall and the bed, of course, is very narrow. So no room for hanky-panky there, I'm afraid. And your small little passenger seat in the middle. And you see these little air vents as well. Um, there's little outlets just above. You see it there, look. That would bring in air from the outside into the inside. Yeah, as I said, things were a lot simpler back then. And we have our rev counter there on top of the dashboard. And your radio there, your glove box. Uh, two, uh, two ashtrays as well. 
uh, one on that side, one on this side. Uh, winding windows, of course, and your little pouch there on the door. Oh yeah, and you remember the, the small little window here. So you can open it this way, look, and to get extra air. Very good for eating flies, if you're into fly eating. <laughs> so <laughs> that's quite nice. And your, your taco there as well. And uh, yeah, the layout here, so we have oil, yeah, your engine temperature, uh, amp meter there for your battery and your fuel there on the left. And all our vent controls there. Uh, we have trailer brake and exhaust brake. Oh yeah, so this is your trailer brake. And this is your engine brake. So yeah, that's uh, and your straight six cylinder, or sp six speed I should say, gearbox. There we go. So uh, yeah. yeah, it's quite a long throw, but yeah we'll see we'll see what it's like on the drive uh hopefully i don't <laughs> i don't mess it up and yeah just your cigarette lighter there and that's for your windscreen washers so you see the brake pedal uh the big brake pedal there um you don't usually see big brake pedals like this on new trucks anymore they're like a small pedal but uh yeah the old volvos had them as well big brake pedal there in the middle so yeah, I think that's uh, just about our tour uh, around the inside and exterior of the Hino from 1977. Uh, little storage area here as well. Yeah, I think it's time guys. Take it out on the road and see what it's like. Yeah, okay, so it is six speed guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, as long as I can find the gears, we're okay. I'm just gonna... Uh, Pull off the handbrake, no seat belt, no intercooler, no turbo, no nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, and let's set off. Okay, the clutch pedal does go out a fair amount before it uh, grabs. Okay, nice and easy. Pull out of the yard. Oh yeah, we have the NP460 Stralis, the gas truck here. So... Yeah. The steering is quite light. Quite light. It is fairly big. So, this isn't the oldest truck I have driven. Some of you may remember I drove the 1622 Dominic Newby's Mercedes truck. Um, that was 1976. This is 1977. So, uh, yeah, let's. I think I'll just go left up to the roundabout here. And. Yeah, the clutch pedal does go out a fair amount before it grabs. But, uh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found second gear anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sorry. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Let's go easy here, guys. And, yes. Okay, we found fourth gear. Okay. Nice and easy. And, yeah, uh, which way will I go? Straight through, I think. Yeah. Wow, the steering is very, very light. Yeah. It's almost, it's almost too light. Um, trying to get a feel for it. Okay, fifth gear. There we go. Yeah, that windscreen is uh, very, very narrow. You're almost bending down your head. So have a look out uh, with the sun visor there. So, yeah, the seat, <laughs> there's, no, there's no support on the seat. It's like you're sitting on a cushion. But this is how it was. I'm just gonna let the traffic off behind me because I'm going nice and easy on this trip today. There we go. And up into fifth. So, so 
so you really have to stop the truck completely to go down through the gearbox if you're coming to um, so say for instance if you're coming up to a roundabout here and you're trying to come in at the right gear oh yeah yeah we're okay now I think the gearbox just needed a bit of warming up but imagine pulling a heavy load guys 260 horsepower yeah it would be great to pull it with a load just to see what it's like wow it's um very unusual <laughs> yeah but the steering is just way too light you, you you've literally no feel for what the front wheels are doing i'm holding up traffic driving so slow huh okay so yeah hino as a company were established back in 1942 yeah if i could find where <laughs> where the windscreen wiper button is <laughs> it's here somewhere I don't know where it is uh, yeah I forget I forget which switch it is um, uh, yeah okay I think we're okay anyway we can still see where we're going okay I need to move out of here I need to move off the hard shoulder here oh this guy's car is after breaking down when he passed me out, there was a whole load of smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe. Look, it's 2007 Suzuki Vitara. So, uh, yeah, he's not having a good day today, I'm afraid. So I'm going to turn left here. And we'll make our way back to Long Haul. But I can imagine that after a long journey, the uh, you probably get a, possibly a pain in your back with the seat. Yeah. Okay, let's power it up here now. I get it up into fifth with no load on, obviously, so it'll pull away. Yeah, it's just so weird driving a truck this old really weird and our fence there ah we found the wiper button <laughs> okay there we go guys huh it was the it was the one for the washers as well so obviously it wouldn't be the most comfortable truck because it is um, all on springs. I mean, 260 horsepower is nothing today. Even in a rigid, it would be seen as low enough power. But, yeah. What, yeah, it would be really great to pull it with a load, guys. But we don't want to uh, scrape up the mud guards or the fifth wheel. But the driver's seat is on a spring. So, you know, you're not sitting on a rock. And you see there, we're passing out Condren Concrete. They have 28 Iveco trucks in their fleet. And they also have two Hino trucks. So, yeah, I can spot one in the yard. One of the Hino is there, look. Yeah, you can barely see it. So that was our short little drive in the Hino, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. And the brakes are actually okay on the truck. Um, of course, just driving the unit, they would be, but I mean, they're, they're not bad, the brakes. Okay. And back into long haul. So yeah, they have a load of Iveco Stralises here. And that NP, the gas truck. So yeah, I quite enjoyed that little drive, guys. A real classic, the Hinos. Okay, uh, <laughs> I can't see where a reverse is. <laughs> and I I'm only, 
I'm only gonna guess where a reverse is, guys. Over to me and down. I'm only guessing. So I could be wrong. Am I wrong? I think I am wrong, guys. So what if I go over here and down? I felt a bit of a notch. So I might be right, am I? Am I? Am I? Yes. <laughs> I found reverse. Oh, lads. Okay, so that was uh, okay. Let's uh, get her back a bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And I never managed to conk it out, which is uh, pretty good. And push in our handbrake. Great. <laughs> And there we are back from our drive in the Hino HE336 with 260 horsepower. So in 1967, Hino had signed a deal with the Harris Group in Ireland to assemble Hino trucks. Fast forward to 1989, they had assembled their 10,000th example of a Hino truck and it was sold to Van Fleet Transport in Dublin. So yeah, a bit of history there with Hino and the Harris Group in Ireland. But yeah, they're still so rare to find, these HEs. I mean, go to any show in the whole of the UK where they have thousands of trucks on display. You hardly ever see one of these. So I'm delighted to finally get one and drive one for the channel. So a huge thanks to Long Haul Commercials here in Tullamore in County Offaly for giving me the opportunity. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Take care, guys. Thanks. Cheers!